One thing that Hawaii has plenty of is sun, but it doesn't have a lot of fossil fuel. And for that reason, solar is big here. Hawaii, this tiny island state, is number eight in solar production throughout the whole U.S. And it's number two per capita. That's with good reason. This sun beats down all day, seems like every day. So if you look around on any roof, there's some sort of solar. Right here, you can see these two panels right here. That's solar thermal, using the sun's energy to heat water for faucets. It collects that water, goes down to a tank. There's also photovoltaic on most of these houses. Photovoltaic is solar electric. Photovoltaic, PV. Now a typical array comes here. The sun hits these panels, creates DC power, and it goes down to an inverter downstairs to invert or change that DC power to AC, the kind of power we use. Now on typical PV, there is a series of panels that run together much like Christmas lights. And the issue is if one of these breaks, it makes the whole array get knocked out, or if the sun is shading part of it, the whole array is affected. What we're using here is actually a thing called a microinverter. Underneath each panel is a unit like this that will actually take the DC power and convert it right here to AC. Tons of advantages here. If one panel was to break, all of them would still be operating properly, and if it was partially shaded, it won't affect the performance of the whole array. So with photovoltaic, there's always the paradox of solar. You have more solar energy oftentimes when you don't need it. It's no different here. Today, during the day, we've got plenty of solar, plenty of electricity being made. What do you do with it? People are away at school or work. And so what happens is, typically, you send it down through your meter and out to the grid that you see everywhere here. So now this electricity we're making is actually being used by our neighbors, by houses in the neighborhood or commercial spaces. Then you come home at night and the sun has dropped. And that's when demand goes up the most and you need the most energy. So now you're asking that electricity to come back through that grid, spin the meter the other way, and that's called net metering. So you think that'd be perfect, right? Well, the local utilities here in Hawaii on new installations no longer want to let electricity go back into their grid. They want people to store electricity locally. So Brian, it's been 22 years since I've been back in Hawaii and I've fallen in love with it again. It's a special place. We love it as well. How long have you guys been in this house? Been in this house, my wife, two children, and I, about five years. And is this a typical Hawaiian house? It is. Built in the mid-50s, single wall construction. As you can see, no screens on the doors, right. open air. Right. Do you have air conditioning? We don't. No air conditioning. That's we, it? We use our nice <laughs> fan. Well, I've been up on your roof. I know you've got solar electric up there. Yeah, we, uh, we have 12 PV panels for making electricity and actually two hot water panels to heat our water. Okay. I love this in the Hawaiian houses too. They do the big overhangs to help knock down that solar gain. Underneath the overhang, you can see right here, here's that where that electricity comes down from your panels right here. That's alternating current, AC, disconnect switch there, which is great. Power goes over to your monitor right there to just see how much you're using. Back to the panel. If you need power, it's going to go from the panel into the house, but the utilities no longer want you to go back through the grid. That's right. So Nick Soleil is helping us with a storage system today. Hey, Nick. Hey, Richard. How are you? Brian. Nice hey, Nick. Hey. All right, so take us through. So we're going to be installing this energy storage system using an AC battery. Is this the whole unit? Yeah, this is uh, the AC battery. This is a 1.2 kilowatt hour battery. We're going to be installing five on this system. Okay. We've actually been monitoring Brian's home loads and the solar production over the last couple months. And we've sized this battery system to uh, basically run the home loads from the sunset to sunrise. When I think about a battery system, I think about being off the grid on a mountaintop, you know, completely separated. Is he still going to be connected to the grid? Yes, we'll still be connected to the grid with this system. This battery system is designed for uh, storing the solar power during the day and then running the home loads from sunset to sunrise. What about the rare cloudy days you might get here in paradise? When, when you do have a cloudy day, you may need to buy some power from the electric company. So are you ready to get started? Yeah, let's get started. All right. These brackets will support the batteries and we'll also make our wiring connections here. Between each bracket, we'll run a short section of electrical conduit. Each wall mount bracket can accept two number 12 conductors. One is the feed in and one is the feed out to the next battery. Now we're ready for the batteries. Each one is about 50 pounds. We're gonna just lift them up and click them onto the wall mount bracket.
And once the batteries are in place, we can just plug them in. You are all wired up and you can see that the batteries have green lights, that means they're charging. Solar's coming okay. in. If they ever show blue, it means they're discharging going the other way. Okay. Yep. And the batteries are now communicating with the system monitor. Great. So it's going to take a little bit of time for all the data to catch up, but in the meantime, I can show you a similar system if you'd like. Okay. So great. what am I seeing right there? Yeah. This is uh, the orange is the home solar, uh, the consumption, and the blue is the solar production at the site. Right. This green graph at the bottom shows the battery state of charge, and you can see okay. on a typical day the battery's charging up throughout the day, and then beginning to discharge throughout the evening. Great. And uh, run the home loads. So how do we do on that particular day, sort of in general? Well, let's look. So on this site, uh, we produce 14.7 and we consume 15. So it's pretty much a It's know, pretty well right size. Right. It's good. Well, I assume this one's right size too, so you're going to be in good shape. Sure hope so. Right. Thank you for your great work. Yeah, thank you. How do they say it? Mahalo? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>